Hours are trying to give back to the community and inspire change. As CBS 4's Michael Van Skoik shows us, they're calling on their peers to take a stand. 15-year-old Cam Washington and 17-year-old Patrick Coyer are working to feed nearly 200 families this holiday season. It's the second year they put together this giveaway. Both say they're doing it because they know what it's like to be in need of help. I've always been in a situation before when I was younger where I've needed help from people, um, whether it was shelters, being in foster care. A lot of families don't go home to food in their fridge, so we're being able to give food to our community. The teens have also experienced tragic loss in the last few years. Two of my friends died last year. One of my friends died the morning of Thanksgiving and another one of my friends died a couple days after. Both were killed as a result of youth gun violence. This inspired Patrick and Cam to travel down a path guided by their will to make a difference. It, it man, it's, it, it's a lot, it's a heavy feeling, you know, and me and Cam have always been the type of people that we never were like kind of sat, sat back and was like, dang, that's, that's tough that happened. We always felt responsibility to um, make a change. Patrick and Cam say 2023 has been plagued by youth violence. There have been more than 20 fatal juvenile shootings, a record for Indianapolis, and more than 60 non-fatal shootings. The teen's mentor, Kareem Hines with New Boy, says he's proud to see them try and turn this trend around. I think we need to empower our young people, when we see two young people that are doing the right thing, that dare to be different, that are making positive decisions, it's important to highlight them because maybe they can encourage and empower their peers. Friday's food giveaway is just a fraction of Cam and Patrick's efforts tied to their nonprofit. They started in 2021. They both hope it inspires other teens across the Circle City. I want the community and people my age, my peers, to feel like, yeah, I can do this. I can start my own nonprofit. I can start my own for-profit business. And it's mine at my young age. It shows more power in ourselves. In Lawrence, Michael Van Skoik, CBS 4 News.